And very good morning to you, Dave. Why the importance of focusing on Parkinson's? Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, Parkinson's disease is a disease that affects approximately 7 million people at the moment. Um, and within the next decade, that might increase to 12 million people. Uh, and there are very good treatments for the disease. It's a neurodegenerative condition, and the second most common neurodegenerative condition that there is um, after Alzheimer's disease. But unlike Alzheimer's disease, there are some very good symptomatic treatments that can uh, improve the quality of lives of patients and their caregivers. All right, but still no cure. We still don't have a cure, and I think that that's a very important uh, uh, reason to look at the theme of today, which is uh, move to end Parkinson's disease. Um, research is needed. Uh, when you look at, uh, at the Western world, if you look at the first world countries, the, the significant strides have been made to, to, to look for a cure, and the symptomatic treatments have improved the quality of lives of patients, as I've said. But at, at this stage, we, we need to do some groundwork uh, in other countries, especially our own, to start improving the lives of patients and then moving forward to trying to search for a cure. Why is it so prevalent? I mean, what does it indicate about society, about us? What actually happens to bring it on? We don't know what the cause of neuro most neurodegenerative conditions are. Um, it is a disease that increases with age. And as our populations age around the world, the prevalence is increasing. And therefore, unless we start getting the correct resources, uh, this is going to be a tidal wave that uh, is going to put more pressure on our, on our health care services. It seems less prevalent in Africa. What's the reason there? Is it possibly something that's not uh, reported on? Well, when we look at the research, no large prevalence studies have been done in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, and if we look at the disparity of research in the past, um, we can't really say that there is a, a decreased prevalence uh, yet until the research is done. So hopefully galvanizing and creating awareness, uh, those studies will move forward from here. All right. So if somebody feels that something is amiss, what should people do if they are concerned, if they are able to slow down? So research in the last decade has shown that um, by getting to the right type of specialist, specifically a neurologist and a, even better a neurologist with an interest in movement disorders, um, treatments are available. And those treatments range from medications, but also physical treatments, and there are even surgical options available. So it really requires a team, a medical uh, care team, to improve these patients. But it starts with the awareness. Um, a lot of patients go undiagnosed for many years, and that has an incredible burden on, on, on their quality of life and their families. What are the early signs? So Parkinson's disease is, is classically seen as a, as, as a movement disorder. So everybody's familiar with the slowing down of movement, with the stiffness and the shaking. But we, we, we've recognized now for some time that it is a whole body disease. It can affect the digestive system. It certainly has an impact on mood and concentration. Um, so I think as soon as we start to think about it um, and, and, and the communities and patients and healthcare workers themselves are aware of it, I think that we're more likely to find patients and be able to initiate those treatments and improve their lives. Dr. Dave Anderson, thank you. Good to talk thank to you. you.